It's a great honor for me, but more importantly, it is uh, for me a sign of recognition of Guangdong province in the importance of this uh, institute, GTIIT. My first connection uh, with Guangdong was actually done in Israel. I uh, interviewed a postdoc who is originally from Guangdong province. This was my first uh, acquaintance with Guangdong. I first came to China already in 2005. And in Guangdong, I actually came for the first time when I accepted this nomination by the president of the Technion to be the manager of uh, this institute from the Israeli side. So this was 2021. I am astonished by the rate by which China is being built. What impressed me the most is two things. How hardworking the Chinese people around me, I, how much talent we can find here, how much education is perceived important. And then for the president of the Technion asked me if I will, I will be willing to come to China to be part of the management of this institute, GTIT. All my life I was able to combine science and management together. I thought maybe I can do that here in China as well. I foresee it as an opportunity to really build something of value which represents the original idea of the people who established this place, of collaboration between two great and old nations. I am fortunate to be the representative of Israel, and I will do my best to make sure we will do all we can in order to make this cooperation successful. Physics, for me, it's the king of sciences. Physics is, is actually the science which, it's the forefront of sciences. All the engineering, all the exact sciences started, starts from physics. We are here to build a research university. And the idea of the res a research university that give education to the future scientists to the future engineers, but the education is given by researchers themselves. That's the unique thing about this institute. You just have to give the right person the right education and the right chance to explore it, his native innovation, creativity. We are not expecting you to follow me. We're expecting you to be better than I. We're expecting you to challenge me to ask me why. My duty is to make sure that first, the quality of the research that we give is the best that we can get. The students that are graduated from here are the best that they can be. The quality of science does in China increases dramatically. Uh, the amount of, of um, scholars and uh, leading scientists that China have is uh, continuously growing, absolutely. The investment in science is, is um, very impressive. So absolutely, it looks like China understands how important education is. I hope this understanding will lead to very generous um, support to this institute. You can see industrial parks are developed around universities. If this institute will be a successful institute, it will bring industry naturally to here. It's the industry is then benefits from the existence of scientists in its vicinity, for the existence of, of a source of talent, good educated engineers and students that can join the industries. It's beyond any, any economical estimation. What are the real reasons why Guangdong is so successful in China. I have no doubt that 
a very, very important ingredient in this success is in education and in providing good environment for the human. Guangdong has all the ingredients needed to succeed in science and technology. They have many, many people. It's very large. It has financial, fantastic financial resources. And it has the understanding how important this specific side of our social life. I witnessed a huge support to education and science in Shenzhen and I, in Guangzhou. It seems that these two centers understand the importance of education in order to achieve innovation. You have to make sure that the money is used correctly to achieve your goals. What science needs is openness, support, and at the beginning you invest in science, in education, but very shortly, within a few years, it pays back. It takes a wise leadership to understand that they have to invest in the research and the education. And it seems like Guangdong has this leadership.